It's the beginning of another week if you're watching on Monday. Hello my lovely vapies. Welcome back. Today's video is a one month update for the iStick Pico. <laughs> Alright guys, yes, so this video is a little bit late. The iStick Pico video should have gone up a minute ago. And so many people have been commenting, where's the one month update for the iStick Pico? So, oh my gosh, I was like, I need to do this today. So, first of all, let me tell you guys that I used to love the iStick line so much. I used my original iStick for a really long time. And then the 30 and the 50 and so on. And then they had the mini and I used my mini until it just couldn't work anymore. And then I got another mini. I really liked the iStick line. There is a couple other new ones too, but there's this iStick Pico and it is an 18650 device because the older versions of the iStick actually had internal batteries, but this one has the 18650 that you fit right in here. And that brings me to like my first con because this device actually has worked fantastically for me. But when putting the battery cap on right here, it's like I ruined a battery like I scratched a battery which is kind of like my bad but like the edges of this the threads are really sharp and if you don't carefully put it on top of the battery and then push down and spin then you might accidentally rip your battery and um, I want to know if anybody else actually had that issue because I was so devastated when I ruined one of my it was a brand new battery to like just had come in the mail and since it has this cap right here you are limited to using atomizers that fit within the dimension but the atomizer that comes with the iStick Pico which is the Milo Mini 3 is and I cannot believe I'm saying this and actually a good atomizer I absolutely hated the first version of the Milo and so I was like really skeptical about using this but I really like the spinning ring airflow it helps with preventing a lot of leaking and then I never experienced spit back with this at all which was the biggest issue I had with the Milo my Milo spit back so badly that I couldn't use it but this one works just fine and I like this little combo and it's actually really popular I've heard a lot of good things from you guys about it you can see my first look video of it. I was really really impressed and you can click on that video if you want to go and check out that first look video now, because you can put your own 18650 battery in here, the battery life really depends on you your, as a vapor, like how much you vape, and then also what size of an 18650 battery you put in here. I like how they've continued to have the charge port on the side instead of on the bottom. I remember like the first, I think the first version, the 30, the mini, all had bottom charging ports, but I think the 50 actually was the first one to have it on its side. I could be wrong, but I just, I'm glad that they kept that because on, but then, okay, so I'm mentioning, you know, on the bottom, but the regulatory bottom buttons are on the bottom. So that's weird, but I, luckily, I don't ever have to change my regulatory setting. Like I pretty much stay the same setting while I vape. And so I don't have to worry about pressing these, but I guess if I press them, it would be like with my pinky or something. Cause you can kind of like grip it or I don't know, just flip it, I guess. But it's kind of like inconvenient to have it on the bottom. I don't know. This is just my personal opinion. You can see it is producing clouds, bitch. The flavor is all right. I wouldn't say like these Milo coils are the best because I personally prefer other coils over this with like the intensity of the flavor because I like a super intense e-liquid flavor. And this coil doesn't bring out the flavor as intensely as other coils that I like better. But that's also another personal preference of how I vape. But overall, I have to give a thumbs up to the iStick Pico even after a month of use in my daily rotation. If you have the iStick Pico, comment down below what you think of it, like if you love yours or if you hated yours. I'd love to hear from you guys. I will leave a link below to this device if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I do have a second YouTube channel where I upload completely random videos, so if you want to see more of me that is not vaping related, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, 
please join CASA.org, follow NotBlowingSmoke.org, ESFATA, AVA, the Vaping Militia, and all those vaping advocacy groups to learn how to fight for your right to vape, because now at this current moment, the FDA is trying to basically regulate this industry out of existence, and so if you don't stand up and call your representatives and urge them to support the important things like HR 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment, then we will lose vaping pretty much as we know it. So with that being said, I hope you do your part. I'm Tia Vapes, and thank you so much for watching. Oh, Monday, Monday, Monday. It's a boring Monday for me.